the truth. Hey guys, what's up, Green Machine Sam? Back with another video. And today we have season five, episode five of the Los Angeles Chargers five-year rebuild. So we have the final season here today. Uh, this was a fun rebuild overall. I think this was one of my favorites. Now I know I say that every single time because it seems like almost every single time because you know it it it's a different experience each time, but it's definitely fun. Um, every single time, you know, you get to develop new players. I I just wish that there was more variety. I wish random dudes would just go off. Like, it would pick some random dude each time to just, just like, fucking dominate and become, like, a high 90 by end of season one. But, you know, that's a different story. Uh, so, if you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, turn on post notifications if you guys do enjoy my content. If you guys don't enjoy my content in the future, you guys can always unsubscribe. Give me the chance. Would be awesome. Um, we're almost at 300 subs. Probably by the time this video comes out, we'll more than definitely be at 300 subs, just for the simple fact that uh, I got some roster updates that I have to put out, and then other videos, because I'm pretty sure season 3 and 4 haven't come out with this, and then I have four other videos that I'd like to put out that I've recorded before this, so uh, this will be coming out in probably about a week or so, maybe more, but hey, let's take a look at the team. It's coming along very, very nicely um, after last year's departure of multiple wide receivers, and some other pieces with our team. We look a little depleted, but not so depleted that, you know, we can't try to run it back. Uh, we do have Justin Herbert, Alvin Kamara, Paris Campbell, Leonard Fournette, Taysom Hill, Odo Beckham Jr., two rookie receivers, and a guy that's in his f third or fourth year, Travis Fulgham, Nikhil Harry, Hunter Henry, Zach Ertz, Jalen Samuels, Zach Martin, two guys that we drafted on the O-line, Elton Jenkins and Quentin Nelson. So... Not a bad team whatsoever, but then here is where it really kicks into play and where it looks like we could be the best team in the NFL is on the defensive side of the ball. On the defensive line alone, we have Von Miller, Gabriel Butler, J.J. Watt, Joey Bosa. Uh, at corner, we have Jair Alexander, Alexander, Rasul Douglas, Emmanuel Mosley, a rookie, and Quincy Wilson. At safety, we have Derwin James, Lano Hill, and Jaquan Johnson. At free safety, we have Minka Fitzpatrick, Marquise Blair, and Geno Stone. At linebacker, we have Kenneth Murray Jr., Fred Warner, Zach Gannon, and a rookie. Uh, I think his name is George Stringer that has a dev trade as well. This was one of my better draft classes, and I think if this was my draft class on season one of this episode, it would have definitely helped out a lot, but it is not. So, oh well. We're just going to have to run with it and hope that we can... You know, make it to the playoffs. Just give me the chance to make it to the playoffs, and hopefully we can succeed there. Uh, and I may be saying, how do I have so many people? There are a bunch of people on the team that are on 550k contracts, like uh, I think it is Von Miller, Jair Alexander, Zach Ertz, and J.J. Watt are all on 550k contracts, as well as like Taysom Hill and some of the backup guys. But Still, like, when you can get people on 550k contracts, you can basically do anything you want. Because it's a free player for you. So, especially high overalls, that really helps. Got one of the best teams in the league. And at the midseason mark, at week 8, uh, we were doing okay. Not great. Team was improving. Looks like we were 3-4. and four, Or 4-3. Four and three. Uh, Yeah, after the season, it would be tough. We would lose Justin Herbert, Zach Martin, J.J. Watt, Von Miller, uh, Arden Key, Kenneth Murray, Zach Ertz, Taysom Hill, Josh Sweat, Junior Chapman, and another player. Um, so, yeah, even if I wanted to go another year, we wouldn't be able to. Uh, I do end up re-signing Justin Herbert just for the simple fact that if for some reason I ever come back to this, at least we have him. Kenneth Murray would be another guy because he is a staple of the team and because he is a charger at heart. We brought him in, at, the organization brought him in as a rookie, and he's been here the whole time, and he has slowly progressed into one of the best linebackers in the league. Granted, we don't have much money, but hey, we will end up bringing him back at some point. Just probably not right now. We'd lose a couple O-linemen, a couple D-linemen, but overall, the team will still stay intact. As we are five and one, actually. Sorry, not three and four. I don't know. I can't read. Um, we are the number one seed going into the playoffs, which is great. Uh, 
especially since number two seeds no longer get a buy, which kind of sucks, because you're like, oh, I'm the two seed, I did good. But then again, sometimes you're the two seed and you went 11 and five. Does that really deserve a buy? I don't think so. Zach Gannon, a super star, he has slowly progressed into one of the better linebackers in the league alongside Fred Warner and Kenneth Murray. So starting off, we went, we ended up going five and one, and then we ended up losing four games. That's just not good. That's just not good. In the second half, that second half needs to be better. Justin Herbert with 4,000 yards, 30 touchdowns, 15 picks, 64 completion percentage. Picks need to go down if you're not going to have that many touchdowns. Alma Kamara with 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns. Paris Campbell with 400 yards, 4 touchdowns. Leonard Fournette with 240 yards and 9 touchdowns. So the run game wasn't terrible. It definitely wasn't great, especially from Paris Campbell's perspective. Uh, I know I have him just strictly back there as a receiving back, but hey, you know, you got to perform when you get the ball. That's the biggest thing. Hunter Henry with 1,000 yards. He was only one yard away from having 11-11. Seven touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards for Beckham, seven touchdowns. Sample and Tap combined for just over 1,000 yards. And 10 touchdowns. Ertz with 232 yards and three touchdowns. So even he got in a little bit as that backup tight end position normally does. Uh, sacks are, you know, like always, high. That was for loss. Von Miller, 13. Gabriel Butler, 10. Kenneth Murray, 9. J.J. Watt, 9. Joey Buss, 8. Fred Warner, 7. So, sacks, 9.5 for Von Miller, 7.5 for Kenneth Murray, 6 for J.J. Watt, 5.5 for Gabriel Butler, and 5 for Joey Bosa. So, a step back. Um, it doesn't help that we do have three veteran guys that are uh, Joey Bosa, I think, just started regressing, and Von Miller and J.J. Watt have been regressing for about three years. But, hey, you know. It, it still wasn't a bad season, I don't think. Interceptions, two for James, two for Fitzpatrick, two for Alexander, one for Murray, one for Warner, one for Douglas. Um, yeah. You know, when your team can create, and one for Applewhite, when your team can create turnovers, it always helps. Uh, defense wins championships, but the only way defenses win are with turnovers nowadays. They don't win by, you know, stopping the run. They don't win by, you know, doing all this. They win by creating turnovers and not allowing points, so the bend but don't break mentality of the NFL nowadays. One blocked kick for Aaron Key. Two safeties, one for Murray, one for somebody else. One touchdown for Applewhite and Alexander. So we did create points off turnovers as well. Blankenship only missed one extra point that was blocked and went 15 for 16 for field goal. So he's definitely kicker of the year. Blankenship has been one of the best kickers in the NFL so far as well. So that's always great to see. MVP... No Chargers, Coach of the Year. We're not even up there. No, we are. At 8, at 11, 5. I don't know why I'm tired. I'm always tired when I'm recording for some reason. Come on, at 6 for off, for Offensive Player of the Year. Justin Herbert at 10 for Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, I don't think there was any players for us for Defensive Player of the Year. No, yeah, no. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year, Sample at 5. And then tap at eight. So, rookie receivers definitely showed up at least enough to be mentioned, which is great to hear. Tyreek Applewhite, our number two corner, our rookie corner, came out and played, balled out. He will win defensive rookie of the year. Stringer, our backup middle linebacker, went at eight. So, it's always good to see. Um, for some reason, I think I accidentally forgot to record this, the first playoff game, so the divisional round. Um, so we're in the AFC Championship, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Uh, and we're playing the uh, Ravens again. Seems like, yes, I know they have Lamar Jackson, so you will see them a lot in the playoffs, just in general. You see, you'll see, you see them in the Super Bowls. You'll see them in the AFC Championships a lot. But it just seems like we've played them a lot in this rebuild in particular. We go up 31-24, no jumping in right now. Um, up 38-24 now, just under... A minute left. Well, just over a minute left. 131 left on the clock. 45-24 now, and we will end up winning the game 45-24 at our home stadium. Moving on to the Super Bowl. Cliff Kingsbury, you can go suck one. Justin Herbert proves once again that he's probably the best quarterback in this draft, draft class so far. Um, both in real life and in here. They may be saying, well, Joey Bur Joe Burrow has been looking real, real good. Yeah, but he's injured now, and Tua hasn't put up particularly great numbers but then again you can't say that's Miami system right now is not throwing the ball a ton with him 
but still, uh, just Herbert still looking like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. How do we? So we scored a touchdown at zero seconds, and we had to kick the field goal in the second quarter. Then, because said we scored one point in the second quarter. That's hella weird. I've, I really haven't ever seen that. Yeah, we just dominated. One takeaway, 335 passing yards, and over 115 rush yards. You're gonna win games doing that. In the Super Bowl now, we're up 30 to nothing late in the fourth. Didn't play the game, so didn't feel like showing the whole simulation. Um, I felt like hopping in, just playing some defense, I guess. Oh, wait, no, we were returning it at this point. Um, I just felt like hopping in real quick, just for a little bit. And what I like doing here is I normally pitch it back. I normally, like, pick it up and pitch it real quick to try to, like, do some stupid shit, but... I uh, couldn't get it off there, so. so let's just simulate the rest of the way. 37-7 to 7 is our final score. We win a Super Bowl, and, uh, well, it's time to say goodbye to the team. Uh, this team was a very good team. I think we put it together very, very well. We had one of the best free agencies I've ever had in terms of just pure talent that we brought in from one free agency we brought in. Fred Warner, we brought in Jair Alexander, J.J. Watt, Baker Mayfield, Zach Ertz, uh, I think David and Joku at the same point as well, and a couple other pieces. So we definitely put together a team that would have lasted a long time, but the fact of the matter that it, it is only a five-year rebuild. And, you know, once you're done with those five years, you're done, and you have to go to a different team, it seems like. I kind of want to do something. Uh, especially for the like next 20-year rebuild once I'm done with the Washington football one, is that I'll have coach firing on so I can get fired if I play bad or if I put a bad team out there and do bad. I think that'd be cool um, or whatever. But as of right now, we're still working on the two uh, series at hand, which is the Washington 20-year rebuild and Carolina Panthers franchise as well as any and all five-year rebuilds that I feel like doing Fred Warner's up there Justin Herbert Alvin Kamara and somebody else I think Derwin James I think I would have put Justin Herbert uh Hunter Henry Joey Bosa and Kenneth Murray up there and if I had to put a fifth I'd put Derwin James up there but So, yeah, those were our free agents. These are our free agents going into the next season if we really wanted to do another season. But having negative $6 million, not really knowing what to do, I would probably have to end it here no matter what. Cause if we would kind of go into a rebuild. I would have to get rid of basically all wide receivers, get rid of some of the skill position players. Uh, at this point, they finally did put in, you know, the retiring section in the uh, regress system. But I I don't know, do you guys like the regress system, the progression trait regress? Because I don't like it, because anytime a rookie performs well and gets, like, superstar, he automatically loses it, which is really weird. Uh, so, and that's something you'll see on Detroit Lions rebuild that's coming up soon. But still, thanks, guys, for the support. We're over 300 subs probably at this point. Uh, I'm recording this beforehand. I thank you guys for the support. You guys have been awesome. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. I hope you guys enjoy all the content on the channel. Give me a chance, and I will hopefully surprise you, and hopefully you guys will enjoy all of the content here on my channel. New roster updates should be out. So that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Go check out one of my documents on Google Docs if you guys need more info on anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.